Hello! In this demonstration, I want to answer a question that I get asked a lot, and that is how to model helical or spring or threaded type geometry. So we'll begin by demonstrating a simple example of a uh, compression spring. To do a spring or any kind of threaded geometry, you'll need to acquaint yourself with two SOLIDWORKS commands. The first is the helix curve, and the second is the sweep feature. The helix curve begins from a simple two-dimensional sketch of a circle. So to begin, let's just draw on the front plane a new sketch, and I'll create a circle with a one-inch diameter. While I'm still in the sketch mode, I'll choose Insert Curve Helix. Insert Curve Helix. Now from the Property Manager, you can choose how to define your helix, either by pitch, number of turns, the height and the pitch, or the height and the number of turns, revolutions. I'll choose that option. For my height, I'm specifying a total length of 4 inches for my spring, a number of 12 turns, and I'm using a start angle of 0 degrees, and that's where we see this preview arrow here. We can choose a clockwise or counterclockwise orientation, and I can optionally choose to taper the helix. I'll accept these parameters. Now my helix curve is created and resides in my Feature Manager tree. You can see by clicking on it, I can see all the dimensions associated with that helix, so I can change them just like any other SOLIDWORKS dimension. Now, the second part of our operation here is to create a profile to sweep along this curve, that is the cross section of our spring. Here it's just going to be a simple circle, so I'll need to choose a plane to draw that profile. It looks like our top plane coincides with the start point of my helix, and that's why I chose a zero degree start angle for my helix. By creating a sketch on the top plane, I'll now zoom in near the end of my helix, I can now draw in the shape of my spring cross section. This is just going to be a circle, and I'll give it a dimension of one-eighth of an inch. Now it's important that I attach my profile to the helix curve itself, and this is done through a special kind of sketch relationship that you get by control selecting the center point of my circle and the helix curve itself, not the end point of the curve, but the curve itself. And that brings up a special relationship called a Pierce relation. Notice how the sketch profile moves to the end of the helix and becomes fully defined. We can now exit this sketch, and now the pieces are in place for us to build a boss sweep feature to sweep our profile sketch along our path. From the features command manager I can choose the swept boss or base feature or I can choose from the menus insert boss sweep. We only need to specify two parameters first the profile sketch and second the path which can be a curve a sketch, or a series of model edges. In our case, it is our curve feature, and we don't need to worry about any of the other options under the Sweep Property Manager at this time. So we've very quickly created our compression spring. You notice in the Feature Manager tree our Sweep feature. If we expand that, we can see the profile sketch and the path curve by clicking on any of those features, we can see the dimensions, and we can modify them just like any other SOLIDWORKS dimension. So if I wanted to simulate a compressed state of this spring, I just click on the length dimension, enter a new value, and rebuild. Stay tuned for more examples of how to create even more complex helical type geometries in some future demonstrations.